What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're here. And without any further prolonging, let's jump into the songs. Five minus and pull up. The song, this is so hard to say, come on. Narkoti kumi dest eiteime kul midagi. I have no clue what I just said. I have no clue what does it mean. I have no clue if I even read it properly. So let's talk the different language. The language of music. All right. What is this? <laughs> I like that people are hidden like behind the stage everywhere. Okay, it's a, uh, this is a fun act. Like openly, good, why not? But I don't know what to think about this audition. It's more like watching a theater like a strata show, a strat show for New Year's Eve. Okay, what is the concept? Okay, musical fight. But it's danceable, it's somehow it's cringy, funny, not bad. Like this is Eurovision 2024. So many bizarre songs can make it to the to the final Eurovision. <laughs> like it's a comedy act. Like, but well, come on, let's openly say it out loud. But okay. Oh, choreography, okay, there's everything. <laughs> but I got this, I, I got this catchiness in it. Okay, what do you want me to say? Like, honestly, like, uh, there are two points of view, right? One is that it's fun. It's basically for the genre. This whatever actually it is. Pop, pop, I don't know. This is fine. It works. It has the energy. It has the fun factor. Like, you kind of enjoy watching it guilty pleasurely. On the other hand, it's... What is this? Like, like... <sighs> this is hardcore. Hardcore to say, like from the honestly, like kind of from a jury point of view, I, I would kind of I don't know, I wouldn't feel very good to to score for this really because professionally, as we are talking about the musical contest, let's say not even STL but Eurovision value of this song, I can imagine to have fun with it somewhere, you know, on countryside, drinking beers with friends outside. Okay, good, but seriously, this is Eurovision. It can be, it might be. Anything can be, but I don't like it, honestly. This concept, this is, you can call me a snob, you can tell me whatever, but this is, if you say like tattoo from Lorraine and then you're, you know, this, you put this, okay, that like this is a value, but I'm telling you that from the jury point of view, let, that's, let's say my view, I wouldn't put the points. Even though I understand the fun factor, it's, it's just public thing. And then this is a question where Eurovision goes. 
because I know this is a fun favorite. I don't know if it's Estonia's favorite. I have no clue. Tell me in the comments below. And I had kind of fun. Like as a regular viewer, I would say like, okay, fun, let's bring it to me. As a person who produced also part of Eurovision for Czechia, or I was there doing this job. If we go this way, I know that I would kill the format completely, you know? So, so this is my point of view, even though I can imagine to having this number in some entertainment show for sure, but that's the difference. And I would gladly have it because it, everybody would have fun with this. I don't like such things at Eurovision too much, but even though I must admit that it was done very nicely. Had fun, musically, if I don't count what it is, it works. Vocally, it works. So good, good. I'm very curious if this is a favorite to, to win Estee Lowell, because I think by the odds it is. All right, all right, Estonia, but I don't believe that juries will appreciate it, but you're probably counting with it. The second tricky thing is that this Eurovision, in many national finals, there are those kind of 90s pop dance, disco, not trash, I don't want to be that harsh, but this kind of music, like more public fun factor, let's say, this way. And if there will be so many, somebody's going out. Maybe it will be this, or maybe it will be something else. So I don't know, this is a hard thing for me to tell you. Not my thing, not the jury's thing, in my opinion, and that's it. But write me in the comments below, what do you think? Why do you like it? What do you like on it? Why do you prefer such songs to represent your country? And also, write me if you agree with what I said, and you basically don't care. And that's it. Watch my web pages to know more about me, to maybe more understand why I'm talking, how I'm talking, and from which position. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching and see you next time, bye!